Welcome each and every one of you to the very last episode of Mighty Coilless Journey through Dark Souls 3. Let's make a quick check. We have all the ashes of the lords. And we also have all the eight dark sigils. So we just have to place the ashes of the lords into their thrones. Aldrich of the Deep and uh, here we got the Abyss Watchers the big one for Yom the Giant and last but not least we also have The ashes of Prince Lotric, which will be placed here. So now the firekeeper is uh, coming closer to the fire, and I think th she will now start the ritual. Maybe, maybe I have to talk to her. I do have to... I have to kneel. Noble Lords of Cinder. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fires to the true heir. Let him grant death to the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. So now we are here. We can lit this bonfire. Now we at this uh, like really weird place, which is like a little bit like the untended grace version of the bonfire shrine, the filing shrine, but it's a different place. And here we actually can see the ringed city. And here's this uh, little bonfire we can use to teleport up there. You see that place there? There we go. So right here there's uh, another way how you can get to the Ringed City DLC if you don't have the Ashes of Ariandel DLC or don't have beaten it yet. There's this little bonfire here. But I think usually it's only here if you have already beaten the boss. It might be here right now because I've already beaten the DLC and um, therefore it's not necessary to beat the boss. So 
actually the boss fight that comes now is against the host of Cinder, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool boss fight. Also one of my favorites. Not in the top four, but um, it's pretty good. So this is like uh, the personification of all the people who sacrificed themselves for the for lighting the fire in the past, including basically the main characters of uh, the other Dark Souls games. So the cool part about this boss fight is that uh, he straps his styles. Like, right now he's using some kind of uh, straight sword, and now he's using a staff and uh, is using magic. So this is like maybe his most annoying part because of this spell. And there it goes, it uh, makes those projectiles and it also buffs him. And they will come back. So now he's wrapped to his like curved sword pyromancy build. This is pretty cool, but I want to keep my distance until that buff of his goes away. Because um, it's a pain in the ass to fight him while his uh, magic projectiles come up again and again. Oh shit. Oh, I thought that were the last... Uh, that were the last uh, projectiles. So, he also got a fourth style. He maybe shows us that. Yeah, there he goes. And now he got a lance and he uses miracles. He also can heal himself now. Which can be quite a pain in the ass. And once we get him to... 0 HP or almost 0 HP he is going to heal himself up completely basically instantly well, he just rushes me down right now okay I'm dead that was not smart of me I just uh, got hit by the same attack again and again um, if we get him to like uh, 0 HP or extremely low he's going to collapse and then we have to take our distance because he is going to explode then. Um, didn't I? I, I, I simply di I, I stupidly didn't activate the next bonfire. That was stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Well, so if he is at low HP, he's going to collapse, then you have to take your distance because he explodes and you can't actually kill him there it's not possible and then he is going to be full life again and then he swaps to his like great sword and offensive miracles only uh, fighting style uh, he then wields uh, like two handed version of the straight sword he uses in the first phase um, but it got a lot more fiery power and he is going to hit you a little bit harder then. He also got uh, some really hard moves like a command grab and a like combo move that might one shot you if you get uh, hit by it. Um, and then he also used some miracles to throw lightning and he is a little bit like... Uh, he, is he impersonates like the last boss of Dark Souls 1 if I remember correctly. He always starts with this uh, form, but um, the other forms, it's random in which uh, order they come. He also sometimes uh, doesn't... Th the first time you fight him, he is going to swap through all the four forms. Or maybe or like the first time you get him far enough that he has to swap forms, he will swap through all the four forms. But now he might just uh, go forth and back with the same forms. Okay, okay. The curved sword is actually pretty annoying as well. 
not as annoying as the magician's build and I have my, as you just uh, saw, I have my personal problems with the um, Lance uh, moves he got. Oh, I thought he wants to buff himself. I thought wrong. Oh shit. Have to heal up at least a little bit. Oh shit. Getting more health. So, he is, uh, he can move quite fast and uh, kinda rush you down sometimes. So, yeah. Against the Lance it's sometimes just good to circle him without uh, even rolling. As you can see just now. So, now. Now I have to take my distance. So, and now he got his great sword. He got some uh, new leaping attacks now. Oh, that's his combo. Uh, I might be dead now. Oh, no. He just kicked me in the head. Tries to grab me again and again. Oh, uh, he collapsed. I should have uh, used that opportunity to hit him. Well, if he tries to grab me again and again, uh, this is going to be a really easy fight. Okay, now that is uh, his strong lightning spell where this happens. I recommend to just run to the side while that, that happens. Oh, that's his combo move again. Okay, I was able to dodge out. Okay, that's like his usual lightning. He also got the third lightning attack where he doesn't aim on you. But instead he tries to hit the ground where you're staying. So then it's like an AoE attack at the ground where you're staying. So. Oh shit. I really wanted to get that hit in. That's it! Got him! So, I want to thank everyone that uh, actually watched all the 50 episodes and the last 51th episode as well. So much uh, for your attention. I really hope you enjoyed this video series. It's going to be over now and I'm not going to say anything and when the cutscene starts I'm just letting it fade out and uh, you can enjoy the show. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's my challenge run through Dark Souls 3. I have beaten the whole game without changing any equipment, uh, ex uh, not including rings and consumable items. Um, I played the whole game with my, how's it called, loincloth the heavy club and the plank sheet or like the club heavy club is because I infused it um, wanna see my stats I got a crazy amount of strength I have 72 strength I have 30 endurance 40 vigor <laughs> that's the only stats I really can use on this character so um, that's the one I, I went through with I really hope you enjoyed the whole series I had a lot of fun doing this challenge run and um, yeah, this time it's not. Uh, I'm not going to see you in the next episode because uh, yeah, that was the last one. So I'm going to say goodbye. Um, you can also check out my um, other videos. I 
did a little bit of Street Fighter videos. I uh, I'm currently doing a Blood Run run, not a challenge run, a usual Blood Run. Um, I'm going to finish that really soon too. And I also going to upload uh, the DLC bosses soon with my shield bashing character. And uh, yeah, let's see what I'm going to play in the future. Anyways, um, yeah, I uh, can't say it of enough. If you have watched all the episodes, thank you so much for doing that. Um, because if no one watches the videos, there would be literally no reason why I should make them. Well, except for I have fun doing that. Now I have uh, talked way more than enough. So, goodbye. Gracious Lord, make London whole.